Hey guys, it's Maxion from TabletROMs.com, and a lot of you have had questions about how to flash the firmware on your Visual Land Prestige 7. Well, figured I'd do a little video on it. Mad props to uh, people like Ranty Social and Rabid One for, uh, as well as uh, the guys over at Visual Land, Joe and Joey for helping out with this. Well, you're going to want to have uh, tablet ROMs open so that you can see the step-by-step -step and follow along, as well as your USB cable. Now be sure to open up Live Suite, and you'll need the image file um, that is provided uh, the download link for over there at Tablet ROMs. And you'll want to select that image file to be what you will be using. So, um, you know, it's got all the steps listed there on Tablet ROMs. I'll have a uh, you know, link in the description to the specific thread that shows the step-by-step. -step. So Live Suite is going to flash the firmware for us to what we want. So um, you'll want to make sure that the device is powered off, and then you'll hold down the volume up button, or volume plus, however you want to call it, and then plug it in. And then you'll want to tap the power button around the neighborhood of 10 times. Make it brief. Um, now you won't see too much activity on the screen, and I left this first one in because it didn't quite work, but just keep on trying. And then eventually, you'll get this popping up on the screen of your computer. And go ahead and click yes and select to continue on um, through the various prompts. And I usually do the uh, the format upgrade rather than the uh, the other type of upgrade, it's just uh, easier to do. Now, your tablet will kind of just sit there, not looking like anything's going on while the firmware uploads. I did speed that up, so it will take a little bit of time. And then, after everything is done, um, the tablet will start charging again. And then, uh, once the f since now the firmware is flashed, you can flip it on. Now, of course, because it's the first time that the tablet will be turning on with this particular firmware. It will take a little while longer. Nothing to be concerned about. That's just the way it goes when these things boot up for the first time. Well, something that a lot of you have been interested in is a uh, custom uh, firmware, custom operating system. Now, uh, <coughs> Rabid One has um, gone ahead and created a, a push file and so you'll just go ahead, follow the instructions on in the in the forums, and then just uh, run the push file while your tablet is both connected and on, and connected to your computer and on. And uh, then you'll just run the pu push file, carry on, and uh, it has some optimizations. Now, Rabid One was able to make these changes um, using the the developer kitchen that we have over at Tablet ROMs. So if you're interested in making some adjustments, some changes, like for example, here's a custom uh, boot little thing, um, then you can go ahead and do that. Now I've noticed that Rabid One's image, um, his uh, his little uh, firmware update, um, is a little bit snappier than the stock image. Uh, the wireless reception is a little bit better. Uh, battery life hasn't really had a, an appreciable difference on, but it's uh, you know changed a few things here and there. It's something you should definitely take a look at. And then of course, once you've got the operating system and firmware to the point that you want, I would recommend of course uh, following the uh, market tutorial and putting uh, the Google market on your device. So that's it. I hope that you've appreciated and enjoyed, and good luck making your device your own.